section. Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. So, um, the poll results were that weekdays were better than weekends, and Monday and Thursday was winning, and if I did a weekend, Sunday would be the day. So today is Thursday. Um, I have a haul for you. I um, did a Moira group buy. So I purchased a bunch of stamping gel polishes. So I'm going to show you that today. Um, I'm also going to swatch them and I'm going to give you tips and tricks to using um, those stamping gel polishes. So I hope you watch that, um, at least before you buy any. And then I'm going to do nail art um, at the very end using some of the stamping gel polishes and a new mood gel that I have from Wave Gel. So I hope you like that. Um, for all my new subscribers, thank you for joining me. And I do answer all of my comments. I love reading your comments. So um, write as many comments as you want. Um, and I'll get to those as quickly as I can. So let's get started and see what I bought. Okay, so here's my Moira haul. And I did purchase it through a group buy, so I got some really good discounts. Um, there are group buys on Facebook. I only deal with two of them, um, two different groups, and I trust them completely. So apparently, because I get a lot of stuff, um, a really good price. So let's let's start with the stamping plates here. Let's not start with the stamping plates. It's there because they're way there in the back. So first of all, I got some easy foil. And I really don't know. I guess this is like regular foil. I really don't know. But it was rose gold. And that's what I wanted. Now the easy foil on the Moira website sells for um, $2.90. And I got it for $2. Yeah. Okay. I picked the wrong one to start out with. Um, not a really huge discount on this, but let's see what else I got. So I got these crystals for my, um, crystal stone stamping set. Now the crystal stone stamping set, I paid full price and I actually think I even paid more um, on the wet, on the Moira website, it sells for $17. I think I paid more like 20, um, probably cause I didn't shop around and I didn't wait for a Moira group buy. And in the group buy, it was like 11. And these, um, these on the Moira website sell for $4 and 90 cents. And I got them for two fifty dollars each and there's stones to go with that. Um, I was just having some issues finding the right size in pretty colors, um, on eBay. So I just went ahead and bit the bullet and bought these and there's like a hundred of them in there. Okay, the next thing I got, like you need a hole in the head, is like another stamper. But I don't know, I just wanted it. <laughs> and this is super sticky. I am actually really surprised that lately, um, clear stampers have become a lot more sticky. Kudos to you guys for um, doing that for us because, you know, our favorite stampers are sticky stampers. So this is bling and it comes off and it's pretty, pretty awesome. So I'm loving this. And this was originally, um, $7 and 90 cents and I got it for $5. Okay. Now, um, this is just a regular stamping polish, um, stamping polish 17 and it's vanilla. And I bought it because I actually, my daughter wanted a bottle of it. And so I bought it for her and I didn't buy me one because I didn't really care for the color, but then I saw her color and I really liked it. <laughs> so I bought myself a bottle, which I was really excited and I paid $2 and 50 cents for this. And this originally sells for like $4 and 90 cents. Okay. So now we're getting into the foil polishes and, um, these are, gel stamping polishes and I got the entire collection of gel stamping polishes which there are eight colors gel stamping polishes go for um $7.50 on the website and I got them for $4.50 each 
Um, this one is called a foil gel polish. I didn't know what the different was, but I'm guessing you're supposed to use foil. You can use foil with this one. I've got some of the regular foil polishes, which I haven't really used. Um, I don't know why I bought this. I just bought it. But this one also sells for $7.50, and I actually got this one for $3.90. Okay, so now we're going to get into the stamping plates. Now, these large size stamping plates sell on their website for $9.90. I think I've seen them for $8. I paid $3.90, which I was super excited um, to do. So I'm going to open this one first because this was the one that I really wanted, but I didn't want to pay $8 for. Um, and the reason I really wanted it is because this cute little, um, oh, it says this got sharp edges, handle with care. Hmm, that's nice. But I really wanted it for this little bunny with this dripping stuff. Um, I saw, I saw a picture of it used in chocolate, like in brown, dark brown, um, for like a chocolate bunny Easter Manny. And I fell in love with it and I really wanted that image. Um, the other images are very nice. Um, but I've got like a billion flowers by now. I don't have any cattails though. Those are pretty cool. Um, but anyways, so basically, I mean, it's got some Easter eggs. What the heck are those? Are those chicks? Oh, I have no chicks. And those are actually pretty darn cute. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's got some St. Patrick's Day, some clovers, got a billion of those. I really like these love words. Um, and then this says flower, garden, that kind of thing. Um, so actually, I'm really glad um, that a group buy came up and then I was able to get it so cheap. So I really love this one. And then another one is um, I bought Vintage. And I've been into getting map designs. Um, so I really bought it for that. I love these swirls. I have some words like that. And I've seen some stuff recently done with chain. Um, kind of like... Um, Gosh, what's it called? Like a Tiffany's theme with chain. So that's kind of why I bought this. Well, actually, I think I really bought it for the map because I'm psycho. I don't know. <laughs> like crazy. So then I went and bought textured fabric because in the winter I was doing some really cute sweater manis. And I think I had like a smaller sweater, um, mani, but I wanted bigger sweaters. And I don't know why I would want something that big, but okay um and then you've got some like um tribal fabric here um houndstooth fabric which i probably have on a plate somewhere and then some of your christmas patterns which i have a ton of um because i went into that loop <laughs> buying ugly christmas sweater stuff and then some plaids which i have some plaids so um i don't know that one's okay it was four dollars whatever and then my last stamping, oh, yes. My last stamping plate here is the Russian, um, plate 47. And I probably got it for the map. Um, but in looking at it, I really love these clocks. Um, those make really good steampunk. These two make really good steampunk um, designs. A little bear. This is really cute with the deers. Um, the Russian dolls. Um, this is really a pretty image here. Um, this is pretty. So there's, there's a lot of nice images on here. That's gorgeous. So there's a lot of nice images on here. So, um, and yeah, I just, I usually don't normally buy. I have, I have like, do I have one other Moira in my collection? I don't know. Um, but I usually don't buy, um, Moira stamping plates that much. I'm sorry. I thought, sorry, I stopped there. I thought my, um, my video recorder had turned off. I mean, it's just like me to be rambling on and all of a sudden found out half of my footage wasn't, um, wasn't recorded. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, stamp these. We're going to stamp these, um, stamping polishes, not the foil black one. We're just not going to do that. I'm not messing with that. Um, because, well, maybe I will. All right. I will. <laughs> I'll grab some foil. I'm not this foil. I'll grab some other foil. 
and we'll test that out. Hopefully it works. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so let's, let's take a look at, um, how these guys stamp. Okay. So, um, that's awesome. So, so when I do my, um, stamping swatch videos, I do them on huge fake nails because I bought, um, I bought like an entire set of black and white, um, fake press on nails, um, so that I could, um, actually practice my stamping without having to color, um, you know, paint black and white, um, or nail art designs if I want to practice on black or white, whatever. So I actually was playing with this to try to get a good, um, to try to get the feel for gel. Um, and okay, sorry about that, but I, you know, I did, I did, and I can give you some really good tips. Um, they don't show up really great on black. Oh, of course it's showing up pretty darn good in my viewfinder. Or these colors do, I guess. Um, I already did it on the black. This is my vanilla. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's... Hmm. All right. This is my vanilla. Um, so I'll go through the colors and normally I don't stamp them on black and white. Um, usually I stamp them on black and let you look. However, since these aren't showing up the greatest on black, I'm going to do it on white as well. So we can see what it looks like in black and we can see what it looks like in white. Okay. Um, I am using my, um, Moyu Nails, um, stamping plate. It, Moyu Nails is a different company from Moyu London, and they have small stamping plates. Um, Moyu, Nail, Moyu London has the large rectangle plates. So we have this, um, which is my favorite one. Um, I love this image right here, and it's my favorite one to do for stamping because um, they fit really well on these big nails, and I can get a bunch of colors on um, a couple nails. The second thing I'm going to say is you see this kind of goopy on it. It's kind of gross. Um, I, I mean, more than likely, usually you can clean up gel polish with, um, alcohol. However, eventually it leaves a residue and you will, will need to clean the residue off with, um, acetone. And it also, this is pink. This is the gel. This is from the gel. That's not from any kind of stamping polish that I've used. This right here, on pink on the edge, is gel stamping polish, the gel stamping polish. So I'd still recommend using alcohol or acetone. Number two, do not use your favorite stamper. Buy a stamper and specifically use it for um, your gel stamping polishes if you get some. Um, you see that goop? That is from the gel. Um, there's no way you can clean this off because obviously if you go at it with acetone or alcohol, you're going to cloud your head. So I totally, um, thank goodness. I actually have two of my queens. Um, so I'll know now the green dot is for, I mean, I mean, can still use it. It'll still, I think use be okay. Cause I used it with this, um, regular polish. So I think you could probably still use it and that's not going to do anything, but, um, yeah, I, I would just buy a cheap, nice sticky um, one from eBay, which they have. And I would, I would definitely, if I knew about that in the first place, I would have done that. Okay. So now, first of all, we are going, actually, we're going to do the white one because the white one I left off so I could show you um, how it stamps because I want to show you all the colors. So I know that working with my stamping plate this way works well. I'm going to actually on this little pad, I'm going to put a little bit of acetone and you'll see why. Okay. And I've got my Bundle Monster scraper. Obviously it's fine. Um, it's not going to ruin your scraper because you're going to clean it off with acetone. So that is fine. Stamping Gel Polish 03 is white. So it says to shake these up really well. So I shook it up really well. This is the nice part about it. Um, so now I can put it on here. 
At first I thought these weren't really that well pigmented and they might not be, um, you know, stamping wise on the black, but um, you're going to scrape it. Now, you don't have to pick it up right away because it'll be fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of this gel around the edge so that I don't get it all over my um, stamper because you can do that because this isn't going to dry until you stick it in the light. Then what you're going to do is you're going to roll it really fast. At least with this stamping plate, it needs to be rolled and it needs to be done really fast to pick up the gel. So here we go. Oh, crud, and it didn't work. What the heck? I tested this out. All right, let's try it again. Okay, what might have happened, I might have went too fast and pressed too hard. So let's try this. Ah, there we go. That was good. So you do kind of like a quick roll. And then you do the exact same thing when putting it on. Um, I noticed that if you do it slow or too slow or whatever, you don't get the whole image on your nail. So let's bring the nail over here. Just struggling here. Okay, so we're going to put the nail. Okay, so we're going to do it like right here. Oh, jeez. Anyways, a quick roll will release it, and then we got it here. Kind of hard to. Um, so now what I did in between each of these um, little guys, I cured it. Um, I would kind of recommend that. Well, if you're doing something like a close design like this or whatever, if you're going to go in with another color, this is going to stay um, liquidy and not set until you cure it. So let's go ahead and cure that right now. Okay, and they do appear, yeah, they appear tacky. So when you're done curing it, you're going to want to go in with a, um, a no wipe top coat, or you can use, you know, a regular gel top coat, whatever you want. Um, I always use the no wipes now, to tell you the truth. And you don't, you're not going to smear this design because it's been cured. And I'm using Wave Gel's um, top coat right here. And then we'll, I cure my top coats for 60 seconds. Okay, so here we have the finished look with black. So now let's get out the white. I'm not going in numerical order because I didn't do that. So this is pink. Maybe, maybe it's just because it's dark in here and it doesn't appear off camera to be as bright as it does on camera. So maybe out in the sunlight, these would be really nice. And my camera is not focusing. There we go. Let me get more light in this room. It's like dark and overcast today. Nothing like playing with your gel polish in the dark. Okay, so we're going to start out with pink. Okay, this is the stamping gel polish. 05 in pink and this is a cream kind of a carnation pink it's coming up a little bit more of a hot pink on camera but it is a little bit um, lighter in color um, pretty good carnation pink and I shook it up put it on there we will scrape it. I'll clean up the edge. I don't get that on my stamper. I'm going to roll it. Perfect pickup. And then I am just going to take it over here and pop it on the edge. Oh, that looks really pretty. Looking at okay, so now I will cure that and come back. Okay, you can compare the pinks. The next color I'm going to do is um, berry. This one is um, stamping polish 04 in berry. 
and Barry is not coming up good on camera either. Barry is a uh, kind of like a lilac color, um, purpley lilac color. Stupid camera. <laughs> um, the pictures will probably show up better, so um, I'll, I'll get pictures of all these and put them on Instagram. There we go. Got a good pickup. And again, you just want to do a quick, quick roll and release because if you leave it on there, um, it'll stick back to the stamper. So there we go. That is Barry. Okay, so um, Berry and Berry, and just an FYI, um, stamping polish is kind of, um, gel stamping polish is kind of gooey um, to use. Your fingers feel a little gooey and stuff like that. I am not unhappy that I bought this. I am very glad. I am happy with my purchase. I just want to give you guys all the facts so you can make an informed decision whether you think this is right for you. So the next color we're going to do is gray. So we've got uh, Stamping um, Gel Polish 2, which is gray, and gray is gray. Um, it is pretty gray, um, pretty much what you're seeing on camera. Maybe a touch lighter in person, um, like a steel concrete gray, very beautiful. Okay. All right. So we have gray. And put it right here. There we go. Oh, I think I forgot to um, clean my stamper head, so I see a little bit of purple in there, um, or berry. So I'm going to go cure that, and we'll come back. Okay, so here we've got pink, berry, and gray. And I'm going to do black, because I obviously I'm not going to do white on white, and I didn't do black on black. So the next one up is black. And this is the Stamping Gel Polish 01, which is black. So I have black on here already. Let me do the pickup. Which looks really light. Okay, but works pretty good. Okay, so I'll cure that. Okay, so here are the colors again. We've got pink, berry, gray, white, and black. Let's move on to the last three colors. Okay, the last three colors I have is gray or green, red, merlot, and then this is vanilla. I'll stamp that for you too. Um, I like Moira stamping polishes. Stamping gel polish 08 is a metallic green. Well, they call it green. Um, it's a metallic. I think it's kind of like a, a blue green. It's very pretty. It's not like green green. It is definitely like a bluish green. Okay, so we have green on the plate and great pickup. And I'm just gonna put it up here in the corner. Perfect. Woohoo. Okay, and there are the greens side by side. It really looks a lot metallic y um, over black. So the next one we're going to go with is red. Stamping Gel Polish 06 is a red, and it is a beautiful, bright cherry red. Okay, perfect pickup. Okay, we're just gonna put the red over here. Okay, I'm gonna cure that. Okay, so here are the reds side by side. Here and here. And Stamping Gel Polish 07 is called Merlot. And this is, it's coming up more of a brick red on camera, but it actually is a burgundy, a purpley burgundy, and it is really pretty. Okay, so let's pick it up. 
And there we go. At first I thought it was like um, a brick red, and that's why I kind of didn't like it so much. But now I'm thinking it's more, yeah, it's more like a, a purpley maroon. So it does have that purple undertone um, color that I like. So I am really glad that I didn't exclude this one from, or from my collection. I, I really love it. Okay, and that is Merlot over here and over here which you cannot see at all. So, um, you know, these might pop a little bit more if you like double stamp them over white um, on black. I don't know. So now let's just take a look at the um, normal stamping polish in vanilla. Um, so what I've done is I cleaned this plate off really good. Then with alcohol and a cotton um, pad, I went like on front, I cleaned it on the front and then I did it on the back. Then I went over it again with a clean cotton pad. And so as you can see, um, nothing came off this time. There's, there's no um, residue left from that gel. You do really want to get your gel residue off of your stamping plate, especially before you go ahead with your regular stamping polishes, because that would be a really bad thing to have um, any kind of residue get into your regular stamping polish. Stamping Polish 17 is Vanilla, and it is, um, it's coming up more yellow on camera. It is more of a beige color, um, kind of like, reminds me of French Vanilla. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this on here. Okay, this is a regular stamping polish, so you have to work a little bit quicker. You don't, can't play around like you can with gels. So here we go, and I am just going to stamp that right here. Oh, it doesn't show up that much. <laughs> it does show up kind of uh, looking light yellow, which is kind of interesting. All right, so I don't have to obviously cure this one, but I am going to put the top coat on, and then we'll come back and take a look at all of these polishes together. When doing your cleanup, I would recommend that anything that touched non-cured gel to be cleaned thoroughly um, and discarded. So I'm discarding um, this paper because I've been um, I've been rolling my um, roller over it or my stamping um, stamper over it um, with non-cured gel. So I'm gonna pitch that. And I am going to try, um, I think I've heard people using like soap and water. So I think I have some really nice mild um, soap and I'm gonna try washing the residue off of the stamping hat. I have no idea what's gonna happen with that, but um, anyway. So here we go. These are the finished colors. So, um, oh, we didn't do the foil. Got to do the foil. Okay, let me um, grab another nail and the foil stamping polish. Goody. Then I have to clean everything off again. <laughs> okay, and this is called foil gel polish. So I'm guessing that the um, and this is black, and I'm guessing the only difference is um, between this one and the other one is that this one probably remains a little bit more tacky for you to use with foils. Whoops. Okay, since it's a black foil gel polish, um, we're gonna use it over black with um, hollow, uh, silver hollow um, foil paper. Okay, and I've never even really <laughs> done this, so hopefully it works out. So we're going to shake this up really good. Well, this one seems to have those little roller balls in it. The other ones didn't, weird. Put that here. And let's scrape it. I'm going to big blob. I'm gonna pick it up. Yay. Okay, that worked. Um, we're gonna set it here. Okay, and I'm going to cure that and we'll come back and then we'll do the, the foil paper. 
Wish me luck. Because I have never in my life done this. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think what we do is we just stick it on there, right? Stick it on there. Cut it down. Isn't that what you do with foil paper? I think. And then rip it up. <gasps> well, kind of worked. Oh, yeah. I do it this way. All right, I think this is probably user error, but I like it. Um, let's try it again. We'll try another one, like right here. Okay, so now this one I cured for 60 seconds. The other one was 30. Let's see what happens. I think I like the 60 second cure better, but there's not really a big um, difference. I, I blotted it as opposed to, you know, pushed it down in the top. So I'm kind of liking the, the blotting um, better, but not too bad for my first try, I think. Okay, now this concludes the review part of the video. So now if you want to see the nail art, stay tuned that's coming right up i am going to use um some stamping gel polish i'm not sure what else so i'm gonna throw something together let's get started i'll be using wave gels shiny no clean top coat and base gel and i'll be using petals of royalty mood gel and it does have some um bigger flakes of holographic glitter. So let's check it out. I think this one should just need um, two coats. And in its cold state, it's kind of like um, like a uh, reddish purple. And in its warm state, it's sort of a blue toned purple. So I'm going to put this on all of my nails. It's almost a one coater, really. I'm going to put this on all of my nails, cure it, and we'll come back and decide if we need another coat. Okay, so here it is warm, and it is a little on the light sheer side when it's warm. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and add a second coat. I'll cure that and come back. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, see the big chunks of holographic glitter? My camera's not really picking up the the shift, the color shift, but um, it's really pretty. I will be adding the top coat to the nails that I'm not going to stamp. So that would be my index finger and my pinky finger and the other three fingers. I'm going to remove the um, tacky layer. I'm going to use Moira's um, gel stamping polish number three, which is white. My um, queen um, stamper, which is now designated to be the gel stamper and I did try to um, clean it off with some soap and water and that big yucky spot is still there so and I'm going to use my new Lena swirls and twirls 2 which I completely love and if I remember right the story behind this was um, the swirls and twirls were made to look like the Russian nail artists um, twirls, um, you know, art um, that they do freehand <laughs> really well um, and that nobody can ever do that. So, <laughs> um, so I'm really glad that they came out with one of these. I've been wanting something like this forever. Okay, and I'm going to use this image right down here. And then we'll 
scrape it. Pick it up. Okay, and then I'm going to lay it on my nail right there. Oh, well, it worked out really well. Okay, and when working with this, you are going to have to remove all the stamping um, from around your nail before you cure that. So that's been cured. So now we're going to do another nail. This is not picking up the greatest. Um, Maybe the stamping plate's just not really working well with, with this gel stamping polish. I don't know. I'm going to try a different image. I'll try this one up here. Oh, that one picked up nice. I like how that looks. So I'm going to clean up the edges and cure it. Okay, and I'm going to do that image again. Okay, pick up was good. And we'll just stamp it there. And then I'm going to clean that up and cure it. Okay, now I'm going to put the top coat over the stamped images. And then I'll cure that and come back. So here is the finished look. And this is while it's warm. So um, look, getting a little holographic sparkle right there. And um and this is this is like the bluer toned purple color. So let me get this cold and come back. And here's when it looks like when it is um, cold. This one's half and half. Um, so I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.